Hello, Steve White, Steve Arts 89. Well, I didn't wait as long to watch this week's episode. Um, I was aware when I watched last week's episode, I was almost a week late. So, um, episode 7, Forever and Always, um, was better. I've, I've sort of been referring to this season as the cancer season. Um, and the last few episodes I found really difficult. This one was different. Even though I, I, I was upset earlier today about my mother because of something random, um... I was sort of dreading it, and I'm like, oh, just get it out of the way. Um, this episode was f actually kind of fun. I actually laughed at a few parts, and I enjoyed it. Um, now, the episode, which is surprising, because the episode starts off with Lois vomiting um, in the bathroom, and um, Clark taking care of her, and she's, they're trying to hide from the kids, you know, how sick she is and that, and um, I don't know, I just remember thinking last week, Lois isn't, okay, the it's all about the cancer, they're talking about the cancer, but she doesn't look like she's got cancer, she doesn't look sick, it doesn't seem to be really affecting her. Um, and this episode, they actually, you know, showed that. So that was good. Um, I don't know if they made a conscious choice to try and um, make the episode funnier and lighter to sort of balance that, or if it just happened. But um, there's a lot happening in this episode. Um, um, oh, I can never remember names. Um... Is it John Steele? What's his name? Um, him and his daughter are back in the episode. So I, I'm like, where, where did they go? Like, where are they? They came back. Um, and basically, the guy she met from um, Metropolis was coming to dinner. And um, I thought this episode should be called Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, which is the name of the next episode. I don't know if they've got them wrong or not. I was just looking at Wikipedia and I'm like, okay. Um... Yeah, so he, he is initially cool about the whole thing, but he starts to freak out immediately and, and be overprotective dad and quite rude, actually. Um, they're having lunch before they go to the movies and basically she sort of storms off um, and he goes and talks to Lana and Lana's like, weren't you going to be the cool dad? And he's like, well, yeah. And then I, then I saw how he's looking at her and I saw how she's looking at him. and um, So she's helping him. And I think a secretary or assistant or whatever is, is like, like, you should look out for him. But, um, because he's looking good this episode. Um, yeah, um, what's her name? Sarah? Sarah is being quite, um, nasty to Chrissy. Um, because she's like, you know, she's like 10 years, you know, younger. Blah, blah, blah. Um, and yeah, so she's being a bit of a mean girl. But, um, Chrissy eventually tells her off. Um, she apparently is invited to a movie that they're all going to and she's not happy but then he cancels because he's stuck at um, the fire station or whatever. And then they go together as friends because Sarah realises she's being a bitch um, and they have fun. Probably helps that um, she found some special gummies in her um, stash of um, contraband um, you know, food to take into the movie. Um, so, apparently, well, of course, at Smallville, there's only one cinema, so that everyone's at the same cinema. Um, and I think, um, is it Nat? Um, they have their first, I think they have their first, it looks like their first kiss in front of the cinema, because she just, just sort of pounced on him randomly. Um, and when everyone's coming out, um, Lana spots Chrissy and... Sarah together, and she's not happy about that, um, and, um, is it John Steele? I keep on thinking John Snow from, um, um, that show I can't remember the name of. I don't know what happened. What, I can't remember anything tonight. Um, Game of Thrones. Um, but yeah, he, he sees them kissing after the movie, and he goes to break it up, and Lana's like, stop. Um, pause for a minute, and he, and he, he basically goes, takes him to the side, has a talk to him, he says, look, I'm sorry, I was wrong, I can tell you're a good guy, and he says, basically, his mother taught him right, and if he actually, um, disrespected, um, I'm just going to call her Nat, because I think that's her name, Nat, then he'd be more worried, more scared of his mother than, um, the dad, and then, that's when I realised, oh, he's the son of, um, Bruno and, um, Pia, um, which I think is the first time we've heard her, her name this episode. Um, I actually remember that. Um, yeah, so I worked that out. I never work anything out. I like watch Murder, She Wrote, and then at the end I'm just like finding out who did it because I can never work out who, 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 who does what. But I worked that one out. Um, 
So yeah, the boys are upset because not only is they sort of know something's wrong. That's Lois being sicker than than acting like she's not as sick as she is, but also um, they want them to use um, Kryptonian technology to help her, and they're all saying it won't work, it won't work. She can't, you know, she's, she's human. She can't sort of you know handle it. Uh, the truth is, they made a decision not to use it because they feel it would be wrong. For her to use it while not sharing it with you know the rest of the planet and everyone else with cancer in the world, um, I personally think they should just let Kryptonian medical technology out. I don't see how that could hurt. Um, I'm sure they could make some very selective decisions about what to give to hum humanity and what not to. Didn't think about that until this episode, but um, morally they sort of made that decision on behalf of the rest of the planet. Well, you know, if you um, Clark's. <laughs> I think the rest of the world could handle that. Um, maybe if you'd shared that, you know, 10 years ago, you know. But, um, yeah, so I thought that was interesting because I didn't think about it. And then I'm like, well, of course, they, they had that issue. How do they handle that issue? Because Lois would have cancer. Well, he can just cure it. Well, no, because then they would have to share that with everyone else on the planet. So, you know, they had that sort of um, moral dilemma there and that. Um, the boys accept it far worse, far easier, sorry, than I would. I'd be like, no, yeah, that, just do it. Um... <laughs> So, what's left in the episode? Um, oh, of course, uh, Lois discovers, because she, she's trying to be friends with Pierre, and Pierre is like, she, um, looking at all Lois's photos and hearing all Lois's stories, but not giving away much, because she doesn't want to give away the fact that she's Bruno's wife, um, or girlfriend or whatever, I think. I think it's wife. And um, she sort of has a little bit of a, she gets upset with Lois and then basically takes her chemo somewhere else and goes and sits the other side of the room. Lois feels bad. She comes and apologizes and she's like, I don't have many friends because, you know, I'm I'm too hard-headed and everything, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, no, this is not supposed to happen. And then Clark, actually, Clark was actually interviewing Bruno during all this. Um, I think, I don't know if he worked it out. He worked out that he was doing all of this because someone he knew or cared about had cancer whether he worked out, I mean, they're both, they're both reporters. How did they not work out that he's married? Surely they wouldn't have hit it in the past. So why wouldn't they, if she's been researching this guy for years, how could they have hidden their marriage all this time? And then after all this, because basically he walks in with Clark and because she's like, look, I can't do this. We weren't supposed to be friends. Um, and then Bruno walks in she's like, because of him. And, and Lois is like, what? She's like, it's like he put on glasses or something and she couldn't see him. Um, but yeah, uh, then they're all up on the roof having like some sort of ceremony and like all the staff suddenly knows. I'm like, did they not know before? Were they sworn to secrecy? Did they just find out they're married? Like how did they, how did Lois not know that that was his wife? Um, I'm not quite sure how that worked. It didn't make any sense to me. But um, yeah, so now she's having trouble seeing him as the bad guy. Um, and I'm like, is he the bad guy? Because I'm thinking, what was he actually doing besides testing on criminals and giving them superpowers? Was that to see if the superpowers would cure the cancer? Or was that the point? But why was he making them chase? I, just, I can't work out what's happening. Um, I got one thing this episode. That's it. Um, but yeah, so then the son, they all basically go home. Um, Sarah apologizes to Lana, sort of. And Lana's like, look, I'm sorry. I d don't talk about my feelings. She's like, well, you know... She feels like everyone's moved on. She's like, well, what would you do right now? Or, you know, if you wanted to. She's like, I would shoot off fireworks. Your dad ha left some. I found them. Let's just go do that and then run away before the sheriff comes. So they go and do that. The Clarks are watching that. Um, the son's apologizing to um, Clark because he sort of was like, you know, you don't care about mum enough to, to use this technology. Why aren't you doing everything you can? And the reason is because the moral thing, which, like I said, the kids accepted far too easily they're not that mature. They'd be like, F you, F her, do it, you know. And he sort of said, look, because he had that moment of saying, you're Kryptonian, you don't have to deal with this, you don't understand what it's like to be human, and, you know, you could die. Um, and he sort of apologised for that, and he said, look, you know, you're as human and Kryptonian as your brother. And, you know, so, I don't know, they're watching the fireworks, and then um, Bruno goes home, and he's with his wife, and then who should walk in but, you know, their son, who's telling him all about this girl, and he wants to invite her over for dinner. And I'm like, are they doing a Romeo and Juliet thing here? Is, is, 
is Bruno going to turn out to be an actual bad guy and actually do something other than um, experimenting with with criminals? Um, I'm not sure where this is going. I just laughed a few times. I laughed at the dad's reaction to things. I laughed at um, just some of the humor was good. The character humor was good, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. It's a few years now. We know these characters. We know who they are. You know, you know, it works. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed this episode a lot more. I don't, I, I don't think I even cried this episode. Last couple of episodes, it's just like, oh, I can't deal with Lois having cancer. I can't do it. Um, but this one was fun. So um, I'm already over 10 minutes. I need to stop talking. Um, feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Um, I still don't know where this season's going. I meant to check how many episodes they had because they're up to seven. Um, yeah. I'm going to go. Bye.